OK, now I'm going to show you an example of uh, importing CAD data from external packages, from alternative packages, into C Electrical. Uh, this is V7R2. So I'm going to start by creating a new project, and I'm going to call it uh, Legacy. And <clears throat> I'll give it a, a method of numbering, page, code, and sequence number. And this already has a blank page in it. And then I'm going to go to a module in here, a command for importing legacy data. So I'm going to go to recognizing patterns and I'm going to choose import multiple DWGs. So this works with DWGs, DXF or DXB format files as long as there's a standard structure to those files. So I'm going to go to add and I'm going to find the files to import. I'm going to go to legacy and this is broken down into subfolders. So there's one here for heater one and I'm going to take a group of pages just a few of those, so there's some graphics at the beginning I'm going to miss out. So we've got the pages in there, and we now need to assign numbers. I'm going to go to renumber, and I'm going to say start from page number 20, and give it a category or an area. This time, heater one. Click on OK. And it's then numbered all these. Now I've numbered them sequentially, but unfortunately they're not sequential, so I'm going to have to just update those manually on the, in this case. Much easier if they are sequential. Change one to 30, 25, and 24. And the bottom left, you have some options to scale the imported graphics, to insert templates, or to use multiple <coughs> layers as different pages. There's also so, uh, some advanced settings there for different fonts, how to map those, and how to handle different line types, and different other AutoCAD uh, formats. So once we've got that information, we can click OK. It's going to delete the existing blank page, that's OK, we'll say yes. <clears throat> and that's now brought those pages in. Now at this point, when we go into workspace and we display those, we can see it's got a subfolder for that area, and we can see the pages. But these are still AutoCAD drawings, they're still dumb drawings. So the next step with this information, if I was to double click, nothing happens with that, it's a dumb block. But what we can do within the software is we can go to Patterns Define, and that basically, if I get a pattern to show, allows us to map each of the drawings, each of the bits of information, to an equivalent C electrical drawing. The wires are handled automatically, so if it's not a block, it's assumed to be a wire, and if it connects between connection points, then it will be an active, intelligent wire. So all that remains to be done is to then click on Reorganize Patterns in Project, double click, and it then analyzes all those pages, and we should see, once it's finished, and it takes a few seconds per page, and we should see that that suddenly disappears, all the green crosses and the uh, red triangles, and we should see active data there. OK, and that's completed, and all the pages have closed down. Let's just double-click to open one up. We can see most of the yellow triangles and green crosses have disappeared. If I zoom in, just double-click, that's now an intelligence symbol in C Electrical. Uh, we've got some referencing on there, I'm just going to double-click brought up some cable errors, which obviously weren't picked up in the previous package. Um, we can look down there. Anything that's not got a red triangle or green cross is now recognized by the software. So we've got contacts, we've got referencing between pages, and we can double click to follow those references. And now we've got some intelligent information. Um, we can also go to the graphical list, and we could go to, for instance, the product list. We could generate that and see what we've got in the project. So we can see there we've got Turn off the grid, product, types, descriptions, information from the project. And we can go to the terminal list and we can generate that <coughs> for all the terminal strips. And we could just have a quick check under heater. Let's have a look at some of the ones that are numbered. And we've got the list of information that they're going from and to.